Do women really cheat more than men, or is it just an age-old stereotype we've been led to believe? Welcome to a world where we question, challenge, and dissect age-old beliefs and stereotypes. Today, we're going to tackle a topic that's as controversial as it is intriguing, infidelity. But not just any infidelity, we're examining the stereotype that men cheat more than women. It's a belief that's been ingrained in our society, depicted in our media and often accepted without question. But is it grounded in truth, or is it a mere fallacy that we've inherited from generations past? The answer to this question isn't as simple as you might think. The waters of infidelity are murky, filled with complexities and nuances that cannot be overlooked. It's not as black and white as labeling one gender as the cheaters and the other as the faithful. There are many variables to consider such as cultural norms, societal pressures, and personal circumstances, all of which can influence an individual's behavior. On this journey of discovery, we're going to go beyond the surface. We're not just interested in who cheats more, but why they cheat. We'll delve into the psychology behind infidelity, examining how factors such as upbringing, relationships, and personal beliefs can contribute to unfaithful behavior. We'll also explore how societal expectations and gender roles can influence cheating tendencies. But most importantly, we're going to look at the hard facts. We'll present the findings from numerous studies and research papers, shedding light on the truth behind this stereotype. We'll examine the data, crunch the numbers, and present the facts in a way that's easy to understand and digest. So, prepare yourself for an eye-opening exploration of a topic that's often misunderstood and misrepresented. We're about to embark on a journey that will challenge your preconceptions, unsettle your beliefs, and perhaps even change the way you view infidelity. Stay tuned to find out what the research has to say about who cheats more, men or women. Time to dive into the facts and find out what science has to say about who cheats more. Let's start with some statistics. According to a study published in the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy, approximately 15% of women admit to having an extramarital affair, compared to nearly 20% of men. But hold on, don't let these numbers fool you. The same study also suggests that this gap is rapidly closing, with women's infidelity rates increasing over the past two decades. Now let's talk about the reasons why people cheat. A research study from the Archives of Sexual Behavior finds that both men and women cheat for a variety of reasons, ranging from dissatisfaction with their current relationships to a desire for sexual variety. However, the study also revealed some gender differences. Men, it seems, are more likely to cheat due to a lack of sexual satisfaction, while women are more likely to cheat if they feel emotionally dissatisfied in their relationship. But before we jump to conclusions, it's important to note that these findings are not definitive. Infidelity is a complex issue, influenced by an array of societal, personal, and relationship factors. For instance, a study from the University of Connecticut suggests that societal norms and expectations about gender roles can significantly influence infidelity rates. Another factor to consider is the changing definition of infidelity. In the digital age, the line between fidelity and infidelity has become more blurred. Emotional affairs, online relationships, and digital infidelity are becoming more common and are often harder to define and measure. So what can we take away from all this research? First, the stereotype that men cheat more than women is not necessarily accurate. Second, the reasons for infidelity can vary greatly between genders. And finally, societal norms, personal factors, and the evolving definition of infidelity all play a role in this complex issue. The research reveals some surprising truths, doesn't it? But there's more to this story. The numbers tell us one thing, but what's hiding behind the statistics? To understand the numbers, we need to take a journey into the societal norms, gender roles, and the changing dynamics of relationships. It's easy to see percentages and averages, but the real stories are often hidden in the details. Societal norms play a significant role in how we perceive infidelity. For centuries, women were expected to be the faithful, devoted partners, while men were often given a free pass when it came to extramarital affairs. But as society changes and evolves, so do our norms. Women, just like men, have been granted more freedom, more choices, and more opportunities to explore. Next, we have to consider the shifting gender roles. The traditional dynamics of men being the breadwinner and women being the caregiver have been blurred. Women are now equally, if not more, financially independent. This financial independence can sometimes lead to an increased sense of autonomy, which can, in turn, lead to a greater likelihood of infidelity. Now, let's delve into the changing dynamics of relationships. 
In the past, marriages were often seen as a lifelong commitment, a bond that could not be broken. But today, we live in a world where divorce is common, where open relationships are more accepted, and where the concept of monogamy is continually being questioned. This evolving landscape of relationships can contribute to the rise in infidelity, as people are more likely to explore outside their primary relationship. But before we jump to conclusions, it's essential to remember that every situation is unique, every individual is different, and every relationship has its own set of complexities. Infidelity is not a black and white issue. It's a multi-layered, multi-faceted problem that cannot be simply boiled down to a single statistic or a one-size-fits-all explanation. As we can see, there's more to infidelity than meets the eye. Is there a gender gap when it comes to infidelity? And if so, what does it mean? We're diving deep into this question, exploring the concept of gender differences in cheating. Over the years, research has shown that infidelity does not discriminate. It affects both men and women. However, the reasons, frequencies, and impacts can vary across genders, creating what we call the gender gap in infidelity. Firstly, let's talk about societal norms. Society often has different expectations for men and women, which can influence infidelity. Traditional gender roles can prompt some men to cheat due to the societal expectation of masculinity tied to multiple sexual conquests. On the other hand, women, traditionally seen as caregivers, may seek emotional fulfillment outside their relationships, leading to infidelity. But it's not all about societal norms. Biological differences also play a role. Some research suggests that men, driven by evolutionary instincts, may be more prone to seek multiple partners. Women, however, are often more selective, looking for qualities that suggest a good long-term mate. This doesn't mean women don't cheat, but the reasons may differ. Next, let's consider emotional versus physical infidelity. Some studies suggest men are more distressed by physical infidelity, while women are more upset by emotional infidelity. This difference can influence who cheats and why, further widening the gender gap. And what about the impact of infidelity? It's often thought that women suffer more from a partner's infidelity, but studies show that men also experience significant emotional distress. The difference lies in how each gender typically responds and copes with the betrayal. Finally, it's essential to remember that these are general trends and don't apply to every individual. People are complex, and their actions can't be neatly categorized or predicted based on their gender alone. The gender gap in infidelity is a complex issue with numerous factors at play. It's a topic that warrants more research and understanding, reminding us of the importance of communication and honesty in all relationships. So, what can we conclude from all of this? Well, it's clear that there's more to the story than what common stereotypes might suggest. The notion that men cheat more than women is no longer as black and white as it once seemed. Today, the gender gap in infidelity is narrowing, and in some demographics, women are even surpassing men in this regard. Our exploration into the research has shown that the reasons behind infidelity are complex and multifaceted. It's not simply a matter of one gender being more prone to cheat than the other. Factors such as personal dissatisfaction, lack of emotional connection, and the desire for novelty and excitement all play significant roles in why individuals, regardless of gender, might step outside their relationship. We've also seen that societal changes are influencing these trends. As women gain more financial independence and societal norms evolve, they now have more opportunities to engage in extramarital affairs, a privilege that was traditionally reserved for men. This shift, however, doesn't necessarily mean that the moral fabric of our society is crumbling. Rather, it highlights the need for more open and honest discussions about fidelity, monogamy, and the expectations we have within our relationships. It's important to remember that every statistic has a story behind it, and every individual is unique. While these findings shed light on general trends, they don't reflect the experiences of every man or woman. Infidelity is a personal choice, influenced by a myriad of individual circumstances, not a predetermined path dictated by gender. In conclusion, the key to navigating relationships in this ever-changing landscape is communication, trust, and mutual respect. Understanding the potential pitfalls and being open to discussing them can significantly reduce the likelihood of infidelity and foster a stronger, more fulfilling relationship. Remember, every relationship is unique, and these findings don't apply to everyone, Keep communication open, trust strong, and love alive in your relationship.